In today's video, I'm gonna show you some typical French products and where you can get them. Hi, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Valter Academy. You might have seen in last week's video, I listed the top five products French expats around the world miss from home. I even included one of my kids' favorites, Carambar, in their original form, which is the caramel or caramel version of them. And they also have these different fruity flavors as well. Of course, I'm linking this for you below. So let's dive in. The one that I highly recommend that is something that you're already pretty much using, but a higher quality version of it, is what we call la fleur de sel. This refined salt is the best. It's lighter, it's tastier, and definitely the highest quality. Why? It's, that's called la fleur de sel, the flower of salt, so to speak. Where I grew up in the south of France, they have a whole area that actually cultivates it and a museum that you can visit for free on how it's produced and so forth. Uh, so this one, this specific one is Fleur de Sel and it's from Camargue, so from the south of France. There's another one that you can buy that's actually um, Fleur de Sel de Guérande. And this one is more from like the Brittany area of France. So different places in France cultivate this Fleur de Sel. And I'm linking up my favorite one. You can put it over salad, over different soups and vegetables. And the way I like it is at the very end of whatever you're preparing it, put it right before you serve it. While you might be familiar with Moutarde de Dijon or Dijon Mustard, well, this is a brand that I highly recommend. I still remember as a kid hearing the commercial Amora par amour du goût. Seriously, Amora, Amora is a brand for the love of taste. And this is definitely the most potent and very delicious mustard. Amora par amour du goût. I have several recipes that I use it in, and for any time you'd use mustard, you could just simply use this one. But one of them is called la tarte à la moutarde, mustard tart, it has mustard and tomatoes. You can follow the recipe, you know, and watch this video next to follow it and do it from home to really have an authentic French experience. Another cool thing about this brand is that you can also buy it in this format, which is pretty much like a glass format. The cool thing about it is that after you're done using the mustard, as you can see, it becomes this little glass and there's different versions of it. Of course, my kids love it. Next on the list, la sauce magie, another French favorite. It resembles soy sauce or amino acids, and so we use it in different foods that we cook, in different dishes, um, in salad dressings that we make, uh, and possibly in type, some type of curry or with rice, basically in different savory dishes. I'm giving you an example of how I used it in another quiche recipe, tarte à l'oignon, an onion tart, that you pretty much simmer the onions in this, and it has such a unique and delicious flavor. Try it out. If you're getting value from watching this video, make sure that after this you check out the first video, if you haven't, on those five products that us expats miss terribly. And of course, I'm linking all these products in the video description below so you can easily get them delivered at home. Something that you may or may not know is that in the south of France, they're known for producing licorice and anise. Anise resembles licorice, but is also different. Actually, Napoleon and his team survived by consuming licorice and it quenched their thirst as they were terribly thirsty. Excellent petit breuvage. Concentré de réglisse anis. Sans sucre, sans du colorant, arôme naturel. 3 centilitres, pas mal. So, an army surviving based on licorice. Interesting, something to research. Anyway, this product right here, Antezite, is known in the south of France. So there's the original flavor, and then there's different flavors such as um, citron, lemon. But basically, all you do is you put some of this anise, and it's just like, it's similar to the syrup that you saw last week, but you put a few drops in water, and it helps refresh in you. It's light, it's good, zero calories and it has a unique flavor if you like licorice type and you dose it the amount you want based on how much taste you want. So it's very practical and very inexpensive. Great way to drink extra water. Festis is a liqueur that's also licorice based. The 
only place I've really been able to find it in the US is at BevMo and for a lot higher than what I purchased it in France. But it's so it's kind of similar to Anthezit, but a alcoholic version of it, so to speak. Lastly, these Madaba. Oh, I was so happy to find these and easily be able to purchase them for the kids, right? For me too, of course. But these Madaba are different bubble gums and the flavor, the original flavor is tutti frutti, <laughs> tutti frutti, <laughs> tutti frutti. But um, it's a great flavor and then they have like a little tattoo that kids can put on. It's just like a bubble gum and um, it's really well known in the States. The brand is called Madaba. Well, that's it folks. If you got something out of this video, make sure you subscribe, like the video. I want you to be notified of our next upcoming video you're not going to want to miss. Merci d'avoir regardé la vidéo, les amis. A bientôt.